Welcome, I'm Kristin, I'm the curator at Wesley's House in the Museum of Methodism, and today we're going to look at Wesley's Bureau in Wesley's study. The Bureau dates to about 1710, it's in Queen Anne style, and double domed. It's made in two parts, a lower section and an upper section with mirror doors. So let's open it up. The writing flap rests on this struts and the upper section has compartments for letters and other documents and you can see on the left hand side somebody has pasted in engravings of preachers sometime in the early 1800s it's likely that Wesley would have known most of these preachers himself One of the interesting features of this bureau is the secret compartments. Uh, let's have a look at those. There are two at the side, one here and one behind this drawer there. And clearly there were coin compartments for small things to squirrel away. The same is there behind this drawer. Now, whilst I have this one out, I can show you in better light. As I've already mentioned, the bureau is made from walnut, and you can see the walnut here. It's very highly figured. But it's on a carcass or body of oak, and the oak is here. It's a different color, and also the figuring is very different. There are small dovetails here, holding the drawer together and giving it strength. So every drawer has these dovetails. The bureau also has a well, a compartment here which slides back, which isn't that easy to find, although it's not too unusual. But what is unusual is that underneath here, and I cannot take this out unfortunately because it's firmly fixed, there are two compartments here for letters or documents. We know that Wesley kept his private correspondence in these, and we also know that in the 1780s, um, Wesley had stored gold coins in the bureau when he had a break in, and the thieves did not find his money. Um, so, lucky him. Good that he'd put his money away in time. If we have a close up, you can see the highly figured wood here particularly well. When the bureau came to the house in the 1770s, it wouldn't have been a fashionable piece. And it probably means that it meant something to Wesley. Perhaps it was a family piece or a gift or something that he just acquired from his travels and was fond of. It was certainly not a fashionable piece. Um, it is quite similar to Wesley's clock, which is of a similar time. Well, I hope you're going to join us for our next installment, which will come up next week. Thank you.